everyone, today I'm back with another unboxing video, and today we're going to be looking at the Attack Pack Blue, who is a Velociraptor who has been featured in the movie Jurassic World. And so here on the side of the packaging, which you always look at first because, I mean, in my opinion, sometimes I only buy things because of the packaging. And I know that's a mistake because sometimes I'm either surprised and I like the product or I'm really disappointed, but, you know, I, I don't know. I always like to look at the packaging. So, of course, in the side, we have Owen Grady, who is, you know, he is the actor. And the person who plays Owen Grady is Chris Pratt. And we have Blue, who's the Velociraptor, obviously featured here. So, we're going to take a look at the package further. Uh-oh. Yeah. And I also have this. This is, like, the only other Jurassic Park-related thing I have. The Ultimate Trilogy, which has all three movies. And, you know, this was made a while back because, obviously, it does not feature Jurassic World. And these toys are making a comeback, I believe, because the new Jurassic World movie is due this summer, the summer of 2018, and everyone's really excited. And, anyway, let's take a look at the back. So, of course, we have a bunch of the other toys that you can find in the set-slash-collection. And, you know, we have the Universal logo, a bunch of other things. So first, let's go over these toys before we go to some of the other things. We have Blue, the Velociraptor, obviously, who we have here. A Dilophosaurus. That looks like the one from the original one. A Velociraptor, who is not named. And then, of course, a Dimorphodon. This guy has to personally be my favorite. I mean, look at him. He looks absolutely terrifying. He's just got that really ferocious vibe to him. And, you know, we got the other warnings and things like that. And then another thing I like about this package is that it looks like here the cardboard is printed to look like it has bolts on it. So it looks like it's nice and sturdy, locked in some metal cage. And then another, my favorite, absolute favorite part is the poster slash background that they use for the toy, which is a volcano exploding. And if you have been living under a rock for a while... Uh, that's kind of how Jurassic World 2 starts up, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. The main characters are going to save dinosaurs from an island that's about to explode via volcano. So, that's a really cool little reference there. And then, of course, it wouldn't be like a universal slash any, like, you know, movie toy if it didn't have its very own special app like many other movie-related toys do. You know, even McDonald's has their own app for their toys. So you can't blame them. And there's a bunch of other ones like Merge Cube, but that is unrelated. So we are going to stop admiring this package, which I really, really like. This is probably one of my favorites since I opened the Match Strike theme deck, the po Match Strike Pokemon theme deck. If you guys haven't seen that one, I absolutely love that package. I definitely recommend you check it out. So, yeah, we're going to get this thing a crack a lack and lappin and open the package. As you can see here, we're back, and I'm not going to lie, I went a little berserk on the package. I kind of, like, ripped up the poster, I don't know. But it was attached to this plastic over here. So I don't know if you can blame me. Let's get this stuff out of the way. We're going to move the camera back just a little. There you go. It's pretty great. So, as you can see here, blue is backwards, and, yeah, there's two layers of plastic in there. And, of course, I didn't mention the posable. That's, I, I don't know, I feel like every action figure says that, even though many aren't. So, that's, blue is basically the only thing in here. Uh, nothing else, and, unlike many other action figures that I've had in the past, most of the time, uh, this would have little wires in it. I would come up and grip the legs of the action figure, or the arms, or the head, or whatever, so if someone would try to steal it, then, of course, it would buy the authorities, or, I don't know, any more time, and just to keep the figure more secure and, you know, safer. So we're going to pop them out. That's actually really cool. I really like that. It's the outline of blue. It's kind of vague to see, but then when you put it right next to blue, you're like, oh, I see that. Perfect resemblance. Anyway, so we have the big man himself. This is Blue. Of course, the Velociraptor. Wow. Wow, just wow. I'm not gonna lie. He looks 
really, really, bleh, 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 my tongue. Not gonna lie, he looks really shabby, in my opinion, just in the package, and I was debating whether I should buy it or not. But now just seeing him outside of the package, standing up, dude, I have, like, no regrets. This is, like, phenomenal. And I really like his detail. The plastic, it's sturdy, his arms are movable, his mouth is movable, that's really cool. Ah, it's got, like, that nice, like, kind of magnetic hinge feel. That makes me feel secure that it's not gonna break, even if I tried. I don't know, I just really like him. He, he's got this beautiful texture on him. If you've ever felt, like, the scales of a snake or a crocodile or a turtle, it kind of feels like that, in my opinion. It just feels so smooth. I, I really like it. Then he's got that very unique texture pattern on him, too. And, of course, the blue streaks from his eyes down to his buttocks area. Oh, and then also, that's really cool. They have, like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but... The Jurassic Park logo slash Jurassic World logo is on his foot. And then this thing for the Jurassic World Facts app, which is this Toy Lines app you can download. I don't know. I just, I just really like it. I don't, I don't know how posable his feet are. Yeah, okay, I... Oh, you can move his feet. That's cool. You can move his legs. I'm having trouble moving some legs. I don't really think they're... Oh, okay, they're very mobile. Never mind. Wow, this is just awesome. And then the, the artwork on his... On his nice little knives. Those are really nice, too. Of course, they're not actually sharp. That would, that would be called safety hazard. <laughs> but this is just... Amazing. I don't know how to express it. And his head can turn too, I think. Okay, no, it can't. Never mind. Blech. Yeah, no, his head can't turn. That sucks. But hey, I guess it's okay. See if his tail can move. Okay, his tail can move just a little. And his tail is made of that kind of like flexy rubber material. So it is much more flexible. But yeah, I, I, I really like this figure. I really like it a lot. This is like. Just wow. I can't imagine what the other ones are like. Imagine what the Dimorphodons are like. I'm like, Blue alone doesn't look very attractive in his package, but when you have him out here and he's just like that, you gotta admit, that is like, just stunning, and in my opinion, freaking awesome. Like, wow. Just wow. They really outdid all this figure. Whoa. If you guys are looking for like... I don't know, like a collectible or something, and you like vintage toys, and you just have toys in the original packaging hanging off the shelves and things like that, this is like a one for you, because I can totally imagine in a couple of years, this could be worth a lot. I mean, because if you look at a few examples, like, just really bad, not very well done Iron Man toys from the 90s sell for hundreds of bucks. Like, G.I. Joe toys, I've heard of people selling G.I. Joe action figures in their original packaging for like $1,000. I feel like someone could definitely pull a trick with the blue action figure. I don't know, I might even go out and buy another one just to see if I can pull that off. Whoa, this is really cool. Alright, so that, that, that's, I feel like that's where we're going to end the segment. We're going to go on hit the music a little, and uh, take some photos of Blue. I'm going to pose him up around, do, I don't know, give him a little background to dance with, or something like that, I don't know. But, wow, I really, really like this figure. I really do. How do I express wow enough? Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Wow, wow, and wow. Alright, 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 alright. Enough wows. Enough wows.